The Idrisids Arabic, al were an Arab Zaydi Shia dynasty of Morocco, ruling from 788 to 974. Named after the founder Idris I, the great-grandchild of Hassan ibn Ali, the Idrisids are considered to be the founders of the first Moroccan state. History The founder of the dynasty was Idris ibn Abdallah 788 who traced his ancestry back to Ali ibn Abi Talib and his wife Fatima, daughter of the Islamic prophet, Muhammad. After the Battle of Fakak, near Mecca, between the Abbasids and a Shiite party, Idris ibn Abdallah fled to the Maghreb. He first arrived in Tangier, the most important city of Morocco at the time, and by 788 he had settled in Volubilis. The powerful Oruba Berbers of Volubilis or Walili as the Berbers called it took him in and made him their imam religious leader. The Oruba tribe was originally from the Tlemcen region and had supported Kusela in his struggle against the Umayyad armies in the 670s and 680s. By the second half of the 8th century they had settled in northern Morocco, where their leader Ishaq had his base in the Roman town of Volubilis. By this time the Oruba were already Muslim, but lived in an area where most tribes were either Christian, Jewish, Kariji or Pagan. The Oruba seemed to have welcomed a Sharifi imam as a way to strengthen their political position. Idris I, who was very active in the political organization of the Oruba, began by asserting his authority and working toward the subjugation of the Christian and Jewish tribes. In 789 he founded a settlement southeast of Volubilis, called Medinat Fas. In 791 Idris I was poisoned and killed by an Abbasid agent. Even though he left no male heir, shortly after his death, his concubine Lala Kanza bint Uqba al-Orabi, bore him his only son and successor, Idris II. Idris' loyal Arab ex-slave and companion Rashid brought up the boy and took on himself the regency of the state, on behalf of the Oruba. In 801 Rashid was killed by the Abbasids. In the following year, at the age of 11 years, Idris II was proclaimed imam by the Oruba. Even though he had spread his authority across much of northern Morocco, as far west as Tlemcen, Idris I had been completely dependent on the Oruba leadership. Idris II began his rule with the weakening of Oruba power by welcoming Arab settlers in Walili and by appointing two Arabs as his vizier and Qadi. Thus he transformed himself from a protégé of the Oruba into their sovereign. The Oruba leader Ishaq responded by plotting against his life with the Aglabids of Tunisia. Idris reacted by having his former protector Ishaq killed, and in 809 moved his seat of government from the Oruba dominated Walili to Fes, where he founded a new settlement named Al Aliyah. Idris II developed the city of Fez, established earlier by his father as a Berber market town. Here he welcomed two waves of Arab immigration, one in 818 from Cordoba and another in 824 from Aglabid Tunisia, giving Efes a more Arab character than other Maghrebi cities. When Idris II died in 828, the Idrisid state spanned from western Algeria to the Sous in southern Morocco and had become the leading state of Morocco, ahead of the principalities of Sijilmasa, Bargawada and Necker. The dynasty would decline following Idris II's death and under his son and successor Muhammad 828 the kingdom was divided amongst seven of his brothers, whereby eight Idrisid statelets formed in Morocco and Algeria. Muhammad himself came to rule Fes, with only nominal power over his brothers. During this time Islamic and Arabic culture gained a stronghold in the towns and Morocco profited from the trans-Saharan trade, which came to be dominated by Muslim mostly Berber, traders. Even so, the Islamic and Arabic culture only made its influence felt in the towns, with the vast majority of Morocco's population still using the Berber languages and often adhering to Islamic heterodox and heretical doctrines. The Idrisids were principally rulers of the towns and had little power over the majority of the country's population. The Idrisid family in turn was heavily Berberist, with its members aligning itself with the Zanata tribes of Morocco. Already in the 870s the family was described by Ibn Qutayba as being Berberist in customs. By the 11th century this process had developed to such an extent, that the family was fully integrated in the Berber societies of Morocco. In the 11th century the Hamoudid family arose among these Berber Idrisids, which was able to gain power in several cities of northern Morocco and southern Spain. 
In 868 the Berber Kariji tribes of Maduna, Gayata and Miknasa of the Efes region formed a common front against the Idrisids. From their base in Seferu they were able to defeat and kill the Idrisid Ali ibn Umar and occupy Efes. His brother Yahya was able to retake the city in 880 and establish himself as the new ruler. The Idrisids attacked the Karijis of Bargawada and Sijilmasa, and the Sunnis of Nekar multiple times, but were never able to include these territories in their state. In 917 the Miknasa and its leader Masala ibn Habuz, acting on behalf of their Fatimid allies, attacked Efes and forced Yahya ibn Idris to recognize Fatimid suzerainty, before deposing him in 921. Hassan i al Hajim managed to wrest control of Fez from 925 until 927, but he was the last of the dynasty to hold power there. From Fez, the Miknasa began a violent hunt across Morocco for members of the Idrisid family, seeking to exterminate them. Most of the Idrisids settled among the J. Bala tribes in northwest Morocco, where they were protected by the reluctance of tribal elders to have the local descendants of Muhammad's family be wiped out. In the J. Bala region they had a stronghold in the fortress of Hajar and Nasser, from where they tried to restore their power base, until the last Idrisid made the mistake of switching allegiances back to the Fatimids, and was deposed and executed in 985 by the Cordobans. The dynasty Rulers <inaudible> 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 Idris I 788 to 791 Idris II 791 to 828 Muhammad ibn Idris 828 to 836 Ali ibn Muhammad known as Ali I 836 to 848 Yahya ibn Muhammad known as Yahya I 848 to 864 Yahya ibn Yahya known as Yahya II, 864 to 874. Ali ibn Umar, known as Ali II, 874 to 883. Yahya ibn al-Qasim, known as Yahya III, 883 to 904. Yahya ibn Idris ibn Umar, known as Yahya IV, 904 to 917. Fatimid overlordship, 917 to 925. Al Hajim Al Hassan ibn Muhammad ibn Al Qasim 925 to 927 Al Qasim Ganim 937 to 948 Abu Al Aish Ahmad 948 to 954 Al Hassan ibn Gaynun known as Hassan II 954 to 974 not to be confused with Hassan II born in 1929 Topic. Timeline Topic. Offshoots Hamudid dynasty in Al-Andalus Idrisids of Morocco 1465–1471 Banu Rakat of Shefshawan 1471–1561 Idrisid Emirs of Asir 1906 to 1934 Senussi Dynasty of Libya 1918 to 1969 Topic See also Hamudid Dynasty Kingdom of Libya Senussi Muhammad al-Idrisi descendant of the Idrisid Dynasty History of Algeria History of Morocco List of Shia Muslim dynasties Topic. Notes and references Topic. Sources Ibn Abi Zar, Rod al Kurdis contains a chronicle of the dynasty. Charles André Julien, Histoire de l'Afrique du Nord, des origines 1830, Biot 1994. Topic: External links. In English, Y Benhima, The Idrisids, 789 to 974. In Quantara-med.org, 2008. In French, C L Briga. 
Idrisides in Encyclopédie Berber, Vol. 24, Edisid 2001. In English, B. Dignan, Idrisid Dynasty, in Encyclopædia Britannica, 2007.